Welcome back to the Luxy Hair channel. I'm Layla and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to go from this crazy big frizzy mess to a beautiful silky voluminous blowout and I'm also going to be showing you guys how I like to add in my extensions and also blend them in for that beautiful thick gorgeous hair look I've always had frizzy hair my hair used to be straight then it turned into pretty waves but still kind of frizzy unless I would add mousse and right now after I had my baby uh, about a year ago my hair is kind of like straight here, wavy here, it's just a big frizzy mess and I had to learn over the years how to give myself a beautiful voluminous silky blowout so I can enjoy straight hair, silky straight hair, but also have volume. So if you'd like to see my blowout and hair extension routine then keep on watching. Okay you guys, so I'm starting out with my hair now washed and I have dried it about 90%. It's still damp enough, but you don't want it to be super, super wet because uh, one, it's actually more damaging to your hair because you'll be applying more heat and two, it's less effective. And all I've done so far is apply a leave-on conditioner. This one is by AG Hair Care. It's called Fast Food. Just like a really small dime size amount and that's all I've done. I'm gonna be using my uh, El Chim Professional Blow dryer and you definitely want to make sure you're using a nozzle because that uh, concentrated heat makes it much much easier to blow dry your hair straight I'm also going to be using my round brush this one is very very large I think it's about three oh yeah actually it says right here three and a half inches it's a ceramic ionic brush I find these work best for blow drying hair straight because the ceramic part actually heats up and acts like a straightener while you're blow drying your hair and last but not least I'll be using some hair clips to section off and pin my hair while I'm blow drying. That's all you're gonna need, so let's get started. So I like to begin by sectioning my hair in the backs uh, from about ear to ear, then I divide that into two and then the two on the sides again into two sections. I start with the bottom section and as you guys can tell I'm using the brush rolling it right from the base of the hair all the way to the tips without releasing the hair. I keep going over and over and over the section until I have a nice smooth finish. I basically do the same exact technique all over my hair. So as you can tell again, I'm just grabbing the hair right at the base at the root and starting to uh, pull the hair away from my head and sort of in the upwards motion at the roots and that's what creates the volume. So next I divide my hair from about middle of the eyebrow all the way back. Then I divide that section in half and then the two sections that I have I further subdivide into four sections. So as you can tell I start on the bottom, I pin the top section away and the key really in my opinion to a smoother, silkier result is having really neat sections. That is kind of how I've always done my hair and anytime I try to rush and take messy sections, the results are never the same. So I always stick to my neat sections and yes, it takes more time, but the results are much better and then your blowout will actually last longer as well. Now I'm moving on to the other side and as you guys can tell, I'm doing exactly the same thing dividing that section and then dividing further dividing it into two and then into four so as you can tell i'm doing the same technique i'm pulling the hair from the base and pulling it all the way up at the roots for that nice voluminous effect and then when i finish the sections i kind of go over them again now when it comes to the front of my hairline is where i have the most frizz so i really take a lot of time and make sure that that area is nice and smooth because that can really make or break your blowout so now we're moving on to the front section which is from about the crown area all the way to the front so i'm taking about one and a half inch sections and rolling the brush upwards that is what creates the volume at the crown area and all the way to the front so here I am just doing the same exact thing. You want to really have good tension. That's also important for a smooth effect. So you're grabbing that section and you're starting at the root and keep rolling the brush over and over and over through that area until that section is nice and smooth. And for that very front section, I go forward a couple of times and then mostly blow dry backwards for the most volume. 
So there you have it guys, this is how I like to blow dry my hair straight. As you can tell the transformation from my natural frizzy hair to this beautiful silky smooth and shiny hair is so dramatic and I really really love this technique because it gives me straight hair with some volume and I don't have to use a flat iron which is obviously more damaging. So the next step I'm going to show you guys is how I like to clip in my luxy hair extensions and how I like to blend them in because I have shorter layers at the front here and if you have the same thing then there are two ways to blend the extensions for a seamless look it's very hard again like if you have shorter layers at the front it's almost impossible to wear the extensions straight if you don't want to you know if you don't want to be able to tell the difference between your hair unless the extensions are professionally trimmed to blend into your natural layers that's one option and second option the way I like to do it is I like to just give my hair a light wave once I have the extensions in I wear wave my hair with the extensions which I'm going to show you guys today how I like to do that which is the easiest way to make sure that the extensions kind of blend in seamlessly into your own hair and like I mentioned the second option is taking it to a hair salon and having a professional trim the extensions to blend into your own natural cut and um, style of your hair if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how to trim the extensions to blend into your own hair let me know in the comments below it is a bit difficult to do if you've never used scissors on hair like if you've never cut hair it's definitely not something that everybody can do but it is an option if you are sort of good with hair and if you've ever trimmed hair and things like that so anyhow let me know in the comments below and now we're gonna move on to the second step of the video which is how I like to clip in my Lexi hair extensions so I like to start off at the very bottom of my hair at the nape. I start off with my three clip weft, then move on to my smallest four clip weft, then the largest four clip weft and finish off with the second three clip weft and that's it for the back. Now at the front, I section my hair right at the temple. I start clipping in my two clip weft about an inch away from my hairline. And then I apply the one clip weft, one above the two clip weft and one right underneath. And then I repeat the same thing on the other side. And I'm all done clipping in my Luxies. And here I'm showing you guys how I like to curl my hair with the extensions for that seamless blend. Again, this is the best way to do it if you don't want to have them trimmed, if you have layers and you don't want to have them trimmed in to blend with your layers. So here I'm using a Cut Tools curling iron. This is about one and a half inch. It is really big, but that's what I want. I just want them to blend in where my hair and the extensions meet. So I'm taking large two inch sections and curling the hair away from my face all throughout my hair. So once I'm done curling the hair, you can tell even without brushing it or styling it, it already blends in so much better. So the way I like to do it is again, once I'm done finished curling the hair, I like to just kind of lightly brush through where my hair and uh, where my hair ends and the extensions begin. So where the, all the layers are. And again, that helps to just blend in all of the hair together. And look at how much hair I have, guys. This is so amazing. I've been wearing my Luxies now for how many years and I can never get over the effect when you first put them in it just looks like oh so much hair I wish this was my real hair so there you have it guys this is my blowout and hair extension routine I really hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful and maybe picked up a few tips along the way to help you with your own blowout and blending in the extensions to your hair so thank you guys so much for watching be sure to comment like subscribe for more videos and if you do recreate any of the styles on Instagram be sure to hashtag Tag Luxy Hair for your chance to be featured on Luxy Hair's Instagram account. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! All the things I could